parents, here's what I want you to do. It, parents, grandparents, do me a favor. Go get your kids. Go get your grandkids. And I want them to sit and watch this, this piece right here. Go, go get them. I'll wait. All right. Now, here's what I want you to, as they're sitting listening to me. Hey, young people, I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me clear. What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to A Moment in Time with yours truly, Aaron Thomason. I'm excited you're with me, but remember, I need you to be gentle. I'm getting ready to let you in my business a little bit. All right, so let's take a step back and let's look at this uh, moment in clarity in which I was talking about microphones and why microphones are important because the microphone that you give to people is an amplified tool to amplify their message. And in this clip, you're going to see, I'm telling us, we need to figure out how to turn some people down. All right, let's check out the clip and let's see how we can kind of get in my business a little bit to kind of talk through a little bit more on how we turn down the wrong messages with the microphones we give people. Let's take a look. Take the microphone back and turn the volume down. You know, it might feel a little weird when you do that. Because guess what? When you begin to give the right people the microphone and turn that message up to allow for it to be amplified in your life, you're going to feel empowered. You're going to feel emboldened. You're going to feel like you can't. Now, they're not always going to tell you that you're doing everything right. But that person that you give the microphone to for a platform that allows for that volume to turn up are the people that will hold you accountable, but also will encourage you. Listen. I, I, when I look back at that, it is it is interesting how excited I get about watching me because it's a lesson. Remember, I say we're always, we're in this together. So I got one thing. And, and uh, parents, here's what I want you to do. It, parents, grandparents, do me a favor. Go get your kids. Go get your grandkids. And I want them to sit and watch this this piece right here. Go, go get them. I'll wait. All right. Now, here's what I want you to, as they're sitting listening to me. Hey, young people, I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me clear. One thing you, I want you, look here, all right? Look here. Um, high school isn't real. No, it's not real at all. High school is probably one of the most delusional places that many of us as teenagers thought was so real. We thought that these people were gonna be our friends forever and my BFFs and oh my God, we can't live without each other. And these are people you saw every day for four years. And some of us don't even know the last time we saw these people. Now, be clear. You can have some exceptions like myself. Go to, went to Cast Tech. My class, we love each other. To this day, we do crazy things together. But here's the thing. Many of us have been navigating our lives trying to rid ourselves of the pleasing of people because messages were amplified with the microphones when we were in high school. Why did, he, why did we even care? Because they were cool. Somebody had a car. Somebody had facial hair. Somebody dressed nice. Somebody was cute. Somebody was on the football team. Somebody was on the basketball team. All superficial reasons why we gave people the microphone and amplified their message and cared what they thought about us. And guess what? Some of us are still doing it now. We're just adults doing high school at work, doing high school at church, doing high school in our associations in our neighborhood. We still doing high school because we care too much about what people think because we've given them the microphone and their messages turned up way too loud. You fooled around and probably did a home renovation at your house that you actually didn't even really want or didn't even really need, but because your neighbors were doing it, you did it too. Maybe you went and got a car because you wanted to compete with your neighbors, right? Be because it's high school. It's not real. And the moment that we decide to take our power back and take the microphone we've given people and we turn it down, we'll be able to hear where we need to be focused. We'll be able to concentrate and move forward to fulfill our purpose. Turn the messages down. That's why I, I'm so passionate about turning people down because I realized high school ain't real. And I had some great memories in high school, but them folks ain't paying my bills. I ain't seen most of them folks in years. Even at the 20 re reunion, they didn't show up, right? 
but yet we give them so much weight in our lives. And we have to analyze the people we're giving weight in our lives that are that have amplified messages. That's one. Second point in story I want to talk about is the fact of going back to my junior year in college, playing basketball, me and my co-captain, big fella Zorn, my man, what's up Z? And uh, we go sit in coach's office and we have our meeting like we always do. And coach says to us, and this is the year after we go to the Sweet 16, and coach says to us, I don't even know how good we're going to be this year. We got six newcomers on the team because we lost six seniors the year before. We got six newcomers and I just want us to compete. I don't know if we're going to win the conference. I don't know if we're going to go to the tournament. I don't even know if we're going to be good. I just want you guys to lead them and make sure we work hard and compete. What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So we were just on TV less than 12 months ago. All the nation knew where we were. And now you're telling us you don't even think we're going to the tournament? You don't even think we're going to be good? We're defending champions and you mentally are mailing it in already, coach? Oh, no. Nah. So me and Zorn walked out, me and Big Z walked out the office and we looked at each other like, nah, we're going to the tournament and we gonna try to win a game too. And guess what? Coach had a position. I just couldn't like leave him. I just couldn't like disconnect. He controlled my scholarship and my playing time. But what I could do, that microphone that he had, we could turn it down. And that's exactly what me and Big Z did as we led the team. We turned that volume down. Like coach, you might have low expectations of us, but our minds have been expanded with a new idea and we can't go back to its original state. So we can't act like the Sweet 16 didn't happen the year before. We can't act like the town went crazy because we brought some pride to this little bitty city in Northwest Indiana. We can't act like that, coach. So guess what? We gonna take all of our excitement from the previous year. We gonna pour it into them six new people. And guess what? We going back to the tournament. And guess what? When we turned the volume down, it gave us a chance to do what? turn our focus up we turned our focus up guess what it gave us a chance to do it gave us a chance to turn our work ethic up so when we turn down the volume of the negative message we didn't hear the only way you prove a negative message wrong is you got to do two things you got to focus and you got to work hard and you got to turn up the volume turn up the focus on both of those things that's why and guess what let me finish the story we went back to the tournament we actually tied for the same amount of wins in school the, at the time with school history wins from the previous year. Now we didn't get that W because we ran into uh, some lottery picks: Steve Francis, uh, Juan Dixon, Obina Ikezi, Laron Prophet. You know, uh, we ran into a few dudes that you know was really good and played in the NBA. But again, we did all the things in school history that we had done the previous year, except go to Sweet 16. Same number of wins swept the conference in the regular season because we turned the volume down. We turned our focus up and we turned our work ethic up. You can do it. And you can do it if you make the decision that the messages you're only amplifying are the only ones that are focused on the path in which you're going. So that's why I'm, I was encouraging then and I'm encouraging you right now. Turn it down. Turn the volume down on the people that are not speaking the messages because some people have created a world like high school that isn't real. And some people mean well, they just don't believe what you believe. Turn them down, get to work and stay focused. I appreciate you stopping by a moment in time with yours truly. Here's what I want you to do. Do me a favor, just in the comments, just let me know, right? Whose message are you turning down because you need to stay focused as you're working harder to make your dreams, your goals a reality. Listen, I am so excited and I want you to remember this. Just because you're striving to get better doesn't mean that you weren't already good. Until next time, I'll see you then.